Welcome back to Falkirk Figures, where today I'm going to be doing a shorter than usual WWF Hasbro figure unboxing. So just the one WWF Hasbro figure to unbox today and add to the collection and as you've probably guessed already it's this guy, the Superfly Jimmy Snooker. So I um, picked him up recently, I've been doing some real intense Hasbro shopping recently, I've been trying to track a, a few, as I'm sure anybody watching this will be aware though, the price of them is just kind of skyrocketing. Uh, it's really, really difficult to get some. Um, I have been sticking to my philosophy of trying to buy foreign cards, trying to buy beat-up cards, and I'm sticking to a price range of around kind of 20 to 40. I think that's reasonable for a figure you're going to take off the card. Uh, most of them I've got within that. The only one I've not so far is Andre. He was he broke that, that price uh, bracket. But other than that, everybody that I've bought has, has fallen into that category. So I'm trying to stick to that as much as possible. Um but it's proven difficult and it's it's slowing up the production of the videos. Uh, I do have a couple others lined up um, where I'm kind of theming them, but I'm just waiting to pick up one or two more figures to do those videos. But this guy, uh, he doesn't really fall into any of the categories that I wanted to make a video of, and I figured he's probably worth a video on his own. He's a bit of a legend, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. So here he is. He's one of the Series 2 guys, so I have brought his Series 2 comrades out to uh, to keep them company <clears throat> so uh let's not wait any longer let's just get them open oh no it's one of those uh, one of those guys you've got to open twice here we go Boom. all right so here is the super fly Nice and stiff, yeah. Joints are all nice and stiff, perfect. In fact, he's really stiff. It's hard to get his action to work. Um, yeah, so, Jimmy Snooker. Um, he is a jumper. Anybody who's watched my previous videos probably knows how I feel about jumpers. I just think they're probably the, it's the worst move out of all the, the moves that the WWF Hasbro's could have had. Jumper's the worst one. But if anybody gets a pass on being a jumper, it's Jimmy Snooker. Um, because he, that's that's just his pose, you know, that is his iconic flying off the top rope uh, to do the big splash. He uh, he suits that move more than anybody else, and he wouldn't suit any other move. So I don't have a, a single issue with him being a jumper. Uh, I also like that he's got uh, his own sort of unique part, his, his arm here. He's doing the little, uh, the little Hawaii or Samoa, I think he's from. Is he from Samoa or Fiji? Uh, probably caused offence to somebody there, but uh, he's from the Pacific Islands, and there's the little sort of hand gesture that um, uh, all the wrestlers from that kind of area of the world would always throw up back in the 90s and the 80s. Um, he's an awesome figure, actually. I really like him. Um, he would be the one guy, I don't know if it was made for him, but when you had the WWF Hasbro ring, um, he'd be the one guy that was flying off that every other minute. You know, he was up on the, uh, the corner. There was like a flat platform at the top of the ring post uh, that you could push a jumper to come off. But Jimmy Snooker was probably the only guy that I ever made do that because he was the only guy that I kind of felt that's what he should be doing. You know, jumping off the top rope, pushing him down and he springs off of the, the platform at the top rope. But yeah, really cool figure. Really happy to have him. And he's going to join the season two guys um, right there on the shelf. So starting to... Starting to build a collection a bit more. I've got kind of representation in most of the, the seasons now. Um, as I said, my uh, my Hasbro shopping has been hampered by the, the crazy price hike in some of these guys. Um, but I'm going to persist. Um, I do have, uh, as I mentioned, a couple of videos coming up. Um, so stay tuned for those. Um, I'm kind of trying to theme them to make them a bit more sort of digestible, if you like. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, but 
so it's not just a, a random mix of figures that I'm picking up. There, one from 1990 along with one from 1993 or something. I thought I'll, I'll try and get them together in either the series that they were released in or in their sort of factions that they, they existed in in the wrestling at the time uh, or something and just make them sort of more relevant to each other so it's not just an eclectic random uh, group of wrestlers that are that have been opened um, in the one video. But yeah, so that's it for today. Subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, look out for the future WWF Hasbro figure unboxing videos that are coming up. Uh, stay safe, I'll speak soon. <laughs>